are back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. If not, welcome back, y'all. Welcome to day 20 of Vlogtober. I'm back playing chess and not checkers. You feel me? Yes. Make sure you guys are like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Also, be sure to hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video for I'll be posting a video every single day for the month of October. Y'all, yeah, it is really day 20. I can't believe I'm really doing this. Made it this far. I only have 11 days to go. Like, this is crazy. So, wow. Make sure you guys are subscribing, subscribing, subscribing. Because I'm not at 2K yet. But I know y'all are going to be helping me out with getting to 2K. So, of course, I'm back with another story time. As you can tell by the title, I'm about to be telling y'all about my college crush. And honestly, throughout my college years, I probably had like three college crushes. But this is like my main college crush. And for real, for real, he's still my crush till this day. He just don't know it. But yeah, y'all, even though I'm dressed in chess because I play chestnut checkers, let me tell y'all in this story, I was playing checkers. Yeah, I was. I was playing checkers. But anyway, y'all, uh, let's get right into this story. So I'm going to give my crush the name Joey. I actually have a few story times about him, but I'm going to just tell y'all how he became my crush. So I you know, went to college straight after high school, and I actually met Joey my freshman year of college and he was also a freshman. Um, freshman year, they usually have like these, well, every year. But I remember they used to have these dances in our union, our, um, yeah, our union hall, whatever. So we used to have these dances in there. And at one of the first dances, I danced with him. And he was like, he danced, but he was more of like one of those real cool laid back dudes. Like he didn't play any sports. But he hung out with, like, all the football players, y'all. I swear. I don't know. He hung out with all the football players, but he didn't, like, play any sports. He was real cool, real laid back, real chill. Like, I really fucked with him. Like, yo, Joey, who are you? Now, Joey, he was from Jersey. It's so crazy because when I went to college, I did not like one Philly boy. I mean, I said Philly boy. When I went to college, I did not like one dude from Pittsburgh. Like all the Pittsburgh dudes was just lame to me. And it's probably because I'm from Pittsburgh and I just already know what y'all about. So when I went to college and I seen those people from like Jersey and Philly, I was just like, yes, y'all, what's up? <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't think I talked to not one Pittsburgh dude when I went to college. Like they was either from Philly or Jersey or wherever, wherever else that was not Pittsburgh. So yeah. But yes, Joey, he was just, like I said, he was real chill. He hung with the football team. Like, he was real cool. And I danced with him. Now, I didn't know he, who he was, of course. Like, I've never met him before this dance. I remember he used to have, like, this weird look to him. Because I used to not think he was, like, all that attractive. But he had, like, he he's one of those dudes who got, like, those buggy ass. Like, he kind of reminded me of um, Lil Dark a little bit, but little um but joey is light-skinned so it was just like i don't know he just like was cute to me and like he had like a shyness about him but it wasn't that he was shy he was just quiet but he was cool it was weird y'all i don't know just one of them dudes like like he it was like almost like he was kind of mysterious a little bit you know i don't know joey but anyway so that was my first encounter with him and with that first encounter, we ended up exchanging phone numbers. So, you know, we were texting here, you know, back and forth, nothing crazy, just regular texting. Like, hey, you know, what's up? I'm Drea. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Joey. And yeah, like it was, it was cool. Mind you, it's freshman year. And if y'all know, I've lived, I've grown up in a very strict household where I wasn't even allowed to talk to boys. So of course, Joey is not the only person I'm texting. I'm also getting to know other guys freshman year. And this is like in the beginning of freshman year as well. He, okay, so the dorms, if you lived in the dorms, you, 
either lived in like a two person dorm, which is, you know, one room with two beds, you know, you have a roommate or you lived in like the dorms, but it was called like a suite and you had either four different rooms, four roommates, or you had two rooms, two roommates, where you had two rooms with two people in each room and in the living room, or you had four people who had their own room and had like a living room. So those were just like all the options you had in the dorms. Of course, I just had a uh, one dorm room and I shared it with one roommate like that. And so did he. But like I said, he was friends with the football team. So a lot of his friends were football players and the football players, most of them had the four, you know, um, what you call it? They had the, um, the suites, let's just say that. So him and his friends was having like this little get together. They're having a get together in their suite. So of course the football players, they had made it to where like, okay, one football player can, can each invite one female. Okay, cool. So of course, Joey hits me up. This is before I knew like, you know, everybody hits up one female, but he just hit me up like, hey, do you want to come to this kickback? It's actually in the dorms, but you know, I want you to come through. So, you know, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like he uh, wants me to come there. Like, oh my. like, I don't know. I just never thought I would be the one to get invited. I don't know. So I was just like, oh my goodness. Yes. Like, of course, like I'll come. Of course, I wasn't all super geeked up like that in front of him, but I was looking like, oh, yes, I'm gonna come. So I end up going there and you know, I walk in there and I see other females in there, which I would see them around campus, but I didn't really know them. Like they wasn't part of my friend group, which I didn't have many friends in college. Um, a lot of females did not fuck with me. I think I told some of the story about them, about how the whole dorm hall was hating, but a lot of females just did not fuck with me. Crazy, I know. But anyway, so he brought me in there and the females that was in there, I guess it was cool. He wasn't really talking out like that. But when I walked in, I'm just like, oh, hey, you know, how y'all doing? What's up? And yeah, it was cool. So I'm over by him and I'm sitting next to him and, you know, we're just talking and don't listen. I said he was laid back and quiet, shy. I don't know if I want to call it shy or quiet or what, but I know for a fact I was so nervous and hella shy and hella quiet so yeah so i'm in there and i'm just like oh my gosh like this is crazy it's like no let me stop but i'm in there and you know i'm just kind of listening to everybody talk and we're just sitting there mingling and of course me and joey we're talking amongst each other i mean if anything i'm just kind of like happy to be there you know what i'm saying so um and yeah like i'm all just i guess you could say like giggly and smiley and whatnot and I remember he asked me to like walk to like the vending machine with him or whatever. I go walk to the vending machine with him and we go get whatever he was trying to get. And we end up walking back. While we're walking back, we end up seeing this girl that I went to high school with who also came to our college. Now, of course, me and her have history. I did a couple of story times with her and I just can't remember what I call her. I think I probably call her bully or something. But I don't know. Um she was there she was just like oh and what are y'all two doing like that like first of all girl man you don't even talk so who are you to question what me and my man is doing <laughs> no he's not my man but he was my man for that night shit so she was just like oh well let me like where y'all going like trying to like loki kind of follow us i can tell she was loki trying to see what was up with joey but at the same time joey is like kind of holding on to me so the girl's kind of just like oh like okay and I'm over here like, this girl is just like, on some weird shit right now. Like, I don't know, what the fuck? So Joey's just like, yeah, come on. She's like, oh, damn, all right, well, shoot. Y'all having, I see y'all having like a little get together party thing down there. And Joey is just like ignoring her. So of course, like, I'm not gonna say nothing. Like, man, you're not cool like that no more anyway. And you done some weird ass shit. So I'm not even like, girl, bye. Go ahead. Go back into the cave you done crawled out of. But anyway, so we go back into the room and I don't know, that kind of made me feel good because it's just like that, that, that girl, she does so much shady shit to me. It just made me feel good to have him kind of just like, yo, back up. Like, um, she's with me for the night and you, you just go ahead somewhere. So I'm not going to lie. Like that made me feel good. That made me like really like him even more. Y'all was crazy. 
because at that point I liked him but that just like really was like okay like yeah you're definitely my crush like what's up so yeah so we go back into the room and we're in there we're just all talking playing games we're drinking a little and yeah like it was a good little evening he asked me to stay because I was going to go back to my room he was like um you stay here with me tonight and I'm just like like sleep here he was like yeah like I'm actually sleeping here on the couch like you just sleep on the couch with me and you know I'm, I'm a freshman in college I'm a fresh 18 I'm just like why not we had a good night cool so literally it was so cute well it probably wasn't really cute but I just remember him just cuddling me on the couch and we just going to sleep and then of course the next morning and we wake up he walks me back to my dorm and like that's just what it was but it was just like I don't know I just felt like that was sweet I don't know but it just just like really made me like him after that and I'm just like oh my gosh like that is my crush y'all like that's my man my man my man it's like nah <laughs> but yeah like ever since then I was just like oh my god yeah I love him mm -hmm. yep yeah, we're in love it's like that but anyway so that happens and of course we're still texting here and there but ever since that moment like I was so nervous around him like so nervous to the point like I would see him in the cafeteria and I would just leave and then like walk past him like I wouldn't stop and sit down next to him or say hi nothing y'all I was being a complete weirdo that's why I said like I feel like he's my crush to this day because every time like I see him post something like like I start getting butterflies or, or my heart start pounding I'm like yep I still like him to this day it's been 10 years Oh gosh but anyway so I'm just like I'll just always walk past him like it was so weird so once I've done that a few times it just became the norm and I, I felt like he didn't think I liked him or something like that like I don't know y'all but so we wasn't even texting that often anymore mind you I liked him but I, w I liked other people too you know what I'm saying like he wasn't the only person I was texting so it didn't phase me as much but when I would see him like I'm telling you my heart would drop it was crazy like ridiculously crazy and that happened I keep going on through first semester cool now second semester comes right now I'm talking to this other guy don't get me wrong I was still talking to Joey we were still texting here and there but now I'm texting this other guy and he is like how do I say it he's real cool he's more like the opposite of Joey let's just say that he's more lively you know, um, like a class clown type, um, always cracking jokes like that type. And yeah, like I really fucked with him for real. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, what should I name him? Um, let's name him Nate. We'll name him Nate. So now I'm with Nate. I'm hitting him up. All, well, not hitting him up all the time, but we're texting all the time, on the phone all the time. And now we're low-key chilling. And, you know, I'm kind of keeping my business to myself, but I feel like, of course, his friends know and then like my roommate know type shit. We're hanging out. I'm like, it's to the point where I'm going to his room every night. And of course, we're like freaking in there. And I remember, oh my God, it was so bad because I remember the one time his neighbor literally wrote, like put a note on the door like, can y'all keep it down at night? Like, we can, li we literally can't get no sleep because y'all be too loud freaking. Like, oh my God, that is so embarrassing. So, we 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 definitely cut that out because that was crazy. But yeah, so we was hanging out all the time. But I will say, like, it was only, like, in his room for real that we was hanging out. Like, we wasn't going to lunch together. We wasn't walking around together. Um, to the point where we even had a class together. We would never sit next to each other. We would never even walk out of the class together. And he used to always walk out of the class with this other girl that he was like on the track team with. And yeah, I, I used to just be like in the background, just like mind my, my business. Because I don't know, I guess it was never really talked about between us. Like it, it's not like he was embarrassed to see me out in public, but I'm telling you, I was such a weirdo. Like I was so nervous when it came to my crushes and like just being out with them in public. It was so weird. So I guess in a way, I, I you could say I did that to myself. Cause it's like, girl, 
get that backbone like what are you scared of like y'all i really don't know what i was scared of but yeah it was just like so weird and like i would just never go anywhere in public with him now don't get me wrong if we seen each other out in public we would definitely have a conversation we would hug each other we would talk and stuff like that but it was just so weird how like we were just so different when it was just me and him together like in his room of course but you know how niggas be they they be like that i feel like if it's the girl they really like they wouldn't mind doing all that stuff in public but me being so young and naive and so sheltered like i just i didn't know all this you know what i mean or i would definitely move differently you know knowing that today so anyway i'm chilling with nate all the time i may see him in a day don't really speak to him unless we're texting but at night, I know what's up type shit. So, yeah, I was just... I, uh, for real, for real, if you think about it, I was kind of a booty call. Even a booty call is like one something in the morning. But I don't know. I would... I guess you, you could say I would come to his, to his dorm late because it would be like 10 o'clock. I don't know. But also, he had to be kind of discreet as well because he was pledging. And nobody was supposed to know he was pledging, of course. I knew who was pledging, but of course I wasn't allowed to tell anybody. So a lot of times I couldn't come over till late because he would have like late night meetings. Not only that, like I said, he was on the track team and then he would have like a late night me late night meetings or he would literally, it was so weird that I had to do stuff. Like sometimes he would have to wake up at like two o'clock in the morning and like call his uh, pledge brother or whoever and say all this weird shit i don't fucking know because i used to be like what the fuck like what is going like you gotta do all this i don't know it was worse shit then he had to be up like at four in the morning every day to go do some shit so it was like it was like a lot and he had to be on the, he had to... pledging is a lot y'all that's all i'm gonna say but anyway so i knew that and i knew i had to stay discreet so yeah anyway me and him is chilling and doing all this stuff but after a while it just stopped like he just told me like I couldn't come over anymore because he really had to focus on pledging stuff and I respected that I said okay but after that like the text stopped like I would still see him in class we wasn't really talking so shit just got weird and we just stopped talking but literally soon after that I went back to talking heavily with Joey and I started going to Joey's room and hanging out with Joey a few nights a week so of course like my friends in the dorm would be like oh jaya's leaving she's she's going to nate and i would just be like hmm, yeah bye y'all them not knowing that i'm not going to nate's because nate basically ghosted me and i'm really going to joey's but nobody knew i was talking to joey like nobody knew so y'all it was just crazy but don't get me wrong like i was kind of like dang like Nate really don't F with me like but whatever I get he's pledging but still like you can't talk to nobody like that's crazy but even like I used to see Nate out and around all the time at different functions he just wasn't there anymore ever so I'm like okay maybe this really is like a pledge thing he has to focus on he really can't talk to me so I soon got over the whole Nate thing but it's just like damn you can't talk to nobody like that's crazy so anyway joey i was getting more you know closer to joey and where i'm like yo and i i freaking hated joey's roommate he played too dang much but he was he was cool though but he played way too much but anyway actually oh my god i have another story to i want to i want to tell y'all about the roommate because he he's a hot mess joey's roommate remember that y'all but anyway so joey i just really started to like him and stuff and i just w i could never tell if joey really liked me or not because like i said he was just so chill and just laid back and so cool and just so like oh my gosh like is this how all jersey boys were like by the way nate was also from jersey so at this point i was on my jersey boy kick i was like oh my god like jersey is just like amazing because y'all are great but nah so i'm just like okay joey like what's up so okay i remember one day i, I stayed over there for like the weekend in his dorm and or i stayed over there on like a friday so when we woke up on Saturday, I remember he had got up to go to the bathroom. And, of course, me and Joey are nowhere near me being able to just 
look at his like go through his phone or nothing but i saw he kept getting these like messages over and over on his phone and he had it where the messages pops up it don't it just don't say message it literally like the actual message pops up so he got up to go to the bathroom and i seen his phone just kept going up kept going off so i literally like go over and i just happened to look at his phone because this is sitting right there on the nightstand like Jaya, look at me, look at me. <laughs> it's like that. Nah. But yeah, it's sitting right there on a nightstand. And I'm looking at it and it's like, um, babe, babe, you up. Like, I don't I don't like it. Like, babe, as soon as I seen babe, whether the babe was coming from her or the babe was coming from him, obviously y'all are babes. I don't like that shit. So I'm not going to lie. Like as soon as he got out the bathroom, I was already putting my shit on and I walked out and I was just like, oh, we'll text your babe. Like, some shit like that. So, of course, I leave out. And I'm so mad because I did not want to leave. Because I felt like we were really just, like, vibing. And honestly, I probably shouldn't have even got mad like that. Because I'm not sure, girl, you're not my guy. And, yeah, I'm just over here acting crazy. <sighs> I'm just over here acting crazy, y'all. Because Joey... Why do you have a babe? Like, seriously. But no, so he texted me. He was just like, you can literally read my messages. That girl calls me babe all the time, but I never even say anything remotely back to back to that. Which, whatever, you can say whatever you want. I don't believe you. So I remember I went, I just had um, brunch by myself or whatever. And um, at the cafeteria, I went and had brunch. And then I went back to my room and I was so sad for real because I'm like, <laughs> I'm supposed to be your babe or whatever. But I do, I do remember we end up talking about it and I kind of let it go because I felt like, okay, I'm being crazy. Like that you're not his girl or nothing. Like just because you be over here spreading them legs and them cheeks. <laughs> Don't mean you his girl. It just means you're his. I don't even know. What do you call it? His meat. His piece of meat. It's like, no, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to say that about myself. But yeah, so I'm just like, okay, well, whatever. So fast forward, it's the end of the school year now. Well, yeah, it's the end of the school year. Of course, me and him was texting like here and there throughout all these times. But it's the summertime now. And I remember him saying, I'm actually going to be in Pittsburgh for the week or something like that. And I was just like, oh, okay, like what you coming to Pittsburgh for? He said he has some family out here about like an hour away. And he wanted to come visit both me and his roommate at the time. Because his roommate also happened to be from Pittsburgh. That's probably why I didn't like his roommate. Because he's a fucking Pittsburgh that makes sense that make more sense now that I think about it but yeah so he was like he wanted to come visit me and I'm just like little old me you want to come visit little old me oh man y'all I ain't gonna lie I felt special as hell wait you want to come see me like wow okay cool he said I'm gonna go and visit my roommate first and then I'm gonna let you know you know when I can come because you guys both live like 30 minutes away from each other. So I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. So he does that. And I remember he says, hey, is it cool if I come? And I'm like, oh my goodness, yes. And it was so perfect because my mom happened to be out of town. And the only people home happened to be me and Lexi. Because mind you, Lexi is still in high school. She's a junior. I'm a freshman in college. So Lexi is still in high school. But she just so happened to be home and i remember telling her like oh my gosh like she like joey's coming over and she's like who's joey i'm just like oh my gosh my crush like i have such a crush on him and this is not so of course we're like oh my gosh like let's bake cookies so we're making cookies and all that y'all i know crazy i end up giving him my address and he comes over and he's chilling there with you know me and lexi and it's such a cool vibe because like i said he's so cool and chill and he's just funny and then he's just so funny in a cool chill vibey way like oh my god like why are you this cool like mm, joey but yeah so and now, like, after he's chilling for a couple hours, he's like, all right, well, I'm about to leave and go back with roommate because I know he had to leave earlier, but I still want to chill with him some more because, you know, tomorrow I got to go back with my family. 
And I'm just like, cool. He was like, do you care if I spend a night with you here? And I'm just like, oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 you can. Yes, you can. So he's like, all right, well, I'll let you know if I'm coming back. And I'm just like, okay, cool. So y'all, this is where I started, you know, playing checkers. You know what I'm saying? I started playing checkers at this moment right here. So now y'all remember when, did I give him my name? Yeah, I think I called him Sean. Y'all remember in my other story times, my Popeye's story times, when I told y'all about the guy I was dating, the cute light-skinned boy, I named him Sean, all right? So mind y'all also said that I was working at Popeye's um, during breaks in between my college vacations. So summer break and winter break, I was working at Popeye's throughout the whole four years of college, right? Mind you, it is summer break. So me and Sean are back on, of course. So of course we're back on, but we're never like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like we're back on, but we still be doing our own thing. But we just never speak about it, if that makes sense. So, of course, um, I had been texting Sean already. And he knew that my mom was out of town. And he's like, hey, what's up with it? Like, am I coming through tonight? And I just told him, like, yeah, come over. Because in the back of my head, I knew I wanted Joey to come back over and stay the night with me. But I was just going to make up something where, you know, Sean would have to leave whenever Joey said he wanted to come back. And, you know, Lexi, she's just my road dog. She just already knows what's up. But anyway, so, you know, Sean's like, all right, well, I'm about to come over. And I'm like, okay, cool. So Sean, Sean comes over. We're chilling. Me, him, and Lexi, we're all chilling. We're vibing out. We're watching TV. We're doing whatever. And Sean, he ended up being like, oh, man, I can't, um, I can't get no ride home. And I'm just like, what do you mean you can't get a ride home? Like, what are you trying to, what are you saying? He was like, I can't find no ride home. Like, is it cool if I just stay here? And of course, like, I'm over here trying to make excuses of why he can't stay over here. But he literally could not find a ride home. And at the time, I didn't have a car. My mom was out of town, so she had her truck. We had no other vehicle. Y'all, at this time, there's no such thing as Lyft or Uber. Like, there's Jitneys. <laughs> there's Jitneys and stuff. But yeah, we didn't have Lyft and Uber and stuff. Like, like what, 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 I don't know. So he said he can't get a ride or whatever. So I'm like, oh, damn. Of course, I'm not about to make Sean just go out on the street. But at the same time, I wanted Joey to come back. But I'm just like, you know what, Sean? Yeah, whatever. So, of course, now Joey later on the night is hitting me up. Like, hey, is it cool if I come back? And y'all, I just ignored him. I just ignored my crush, knowing that he would need somewhere to lay his head because he had to drive all the way back to his family in the morning and he it was like an hour or so away. I just ignored him because I didn't know what else to say. And at least if I ignored him, I could tell him that I fell asleep, which is exactly what I did. So the next morning, I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry I fell asleep. And I could low-key tell like he was mad at me for real. He was mad because I told him like I would stay up and wait for him. And it wasn't even that late, y'all. It was like 10 o'clock. It wasn't even that late. It wasn't. And you know what? I just felt so bad. Especially since like I should have just told Sean don't come over. I just should have told. Because I could see Sean anytime. I can't see Joey anytime. Joey lives in Jersey. Can't see him anytime. So I just, I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I switched the game to checkers. Fucking around with Sean. I just I should have just stayed playing chess with Joey. Fucked it up. I fucked it up. So I can tell Joey is being a little cold towards me, but you know, I'm just like, let me let it go because he was probably pissed. He probably had to sleep in his car or drive all the way back. I'm not really sure what he did, but I know it he didn't stay with me. So I just feel bad. So now time goes on and he ends up going back to Jersey and we're just texting occasionally here and there but I just felt so bad but I tried not to really think of it and I kept myself occupied with Sean of course because he's like my summer boo and yeah like we just go on like that now I'm not gonna hold you like when the school year started back up it wasn't I just wasn't how it was our freshman year it wasn't he was just more like hey Drea he always get me like that that little cute smile he be giving me mm. Y'all, but you know what? He's a Gemini. 
he's a gemini but our birthdays are literally 10 days apart like 10 days but he's a gemini i don't know about y'all i don't know i don't know but if he would ever give me a chance i would take it but you know like i said it's been years he's probably i, I know for a fact he's a completely different person i know he is but uh, just to just to remember how he was if he's still like that but just older and more mature and i was seeing him he's been like in the gym getting on my school. joey what's up <laughs> but no nah, y'all swear but yeah y'all can't believe i can't believe i did that I was so mad but not that it's even like a real big deal but i'm gonna be honest like that's where the shift happened like i could tell that's where the shift happened so now that we're in our, into our sophomore year he would hit me up here and there whenever he just wanted me to come over and lay down with him that was it like he would never hit me up for nothing else and i would go over there just because like i wanted to spend time with him you know i did i wanted to spend time with him and it was just like, it just wasn't the same, but I still really liked him. And I remember asking him one day, like, yeah, um, you know, how did you feel about me? Like, did you ever like feel about me more than like what we doing now? And he was just like, yeah, I did, but I'm not gonna lie. My mind kind of changed after you stood me up when I had came to Pittsburgh to see you. And I was just like, I fucking knew it. Like, I didn't say that to him but in my head i was like i fucking knew it like i knew he was gonna feel some type of way because i'm not gonna lie like if i had plans to come back and i had drove all the way down here and i had told you beforehand that i was gonna stay with you and you told me yeah i would be pissed too if you stood me up you know what i mean i'll be pissed too so i understood where he was coming from i really did and yeah it kind of just like changed the way he he felt about me for real and yeah like i was still you know chill with him here and there but after that, I kind of just moved on. And that's when I started talking to my future fiance that I met in college, which I did a few story times about him, but I, I have more for y'all that's coming. But it was just like so crazy because it's like, oh my God, like I really messed up my crush. I did. And then there was this one point where me and my fiance had broken up like our senior year and I had went and slept with joey and it just wasn't the same of course because it had been two years since we had messed around and even really had like a full blown out conversation so it was just so weird hey y'all i just realized i didn't tell y'all what happened with nate when i said he ghosted me because that's another story that's crazy within itself so i'm gonna make a part two to this video about how Nate ghosted me. Okay, all right, bye. But I don't know, like when I be seeing him, I'm telling y'all my heart, so I'll be like, oh my God, he still looks so good. <laughs> so crazy. But yeah, y'all, that's basically the story how I was playing chess and not checkers. It's like, no, nah, but that's not what the story was about, was it? It kind of was, but I don't know. That was the story about my crush. <laughs> He's still kind of my crush, I'm telling y'all. I wish I knew like his personality and stuff now. Like I wonder, how he's doing what he's doing i know he don't got no kids or nothing but what uh, i really don't know he's so laid back and chill he probably just keeps that private i really i really wonder now i'm about to go stalk him on facebook it's like no i'm not about to do that but anyway y'all i'm rambling uh thank y'all so much for watching this video make sure y'all are subscribing to get your girl to 2k and make sure y'all are like and also commenting but yes, y'all, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.